Hello everybody, Crimson Thunder here. Welcome to level 9 of this playthrough of Tomb Raider 2. And in this video, we're going to be going through the living quarters. And last time we have actually explored more of the depths of the wreck of the Maria Doria. And this part, in this particular play, uh, playthrough on this level, we're going to be exploring more of that so we can get to treasure known as the Seraph, which will be in the next level. Alright, now this le level should not be taking as long as the Maria Doria, but just because it was, it was a shorter, but I am going, but we still need to make sure that we use caution because we can die if we get a little uh -huh. bit too reckless. So, just a little channel update. This is, um, after this video, I am going to take a small break because the, the start of the year 2023 has not been very kind to me in the, in the beginning. So I'm going, so I'm going to resume this, the, uh, this at the beginning of next week for reasons that are class, are, that I'm going to have classified to the public. I do apologize, but I am. But don't worry, I am not going to be um, abandoning this project in any in any way. Anyway, that guy that we ended up uh, encountering is, uh, is is a is a guy with a shotgun and took a pop shot at us. a couple of guys at the start another guy with a shotgun in these close quarters uh -huh. and we'll just wait till the uh and take out the three guys what we need to do is find a way to to, to get to the uh, to actually flip the switch so we can actually traverse the engine and we can catch on fire if we're not careful All right, let's go ahead and shimmy to the right because the neck the first switch should actually uh, Alter, alter the pistons that are actually in that engine room that we actually have. And we'll be able to get the first secret of it. And after we navigate our way across the fire. We'll turn off the, the burners. And up here should actually be the another switch. I do hear somebody. actually uh, leads uh, back to where we were. The guy that we gotta we gotta get rid of is over there. And I go with the automatic pistols here. <laughs> now we should be able to access where we, where we were a little, a, just a short time ago. Now 
this does require a little bit of some, some careful jumping. I did not mean to, to take out the Uzis because I don't because the Uzis right now are not are not absolutely necessary right now. But if we get to the really dangerous enemies in close quarters, we we'll use the Uzis. Right now, we should take out the shotgun guy first. There we go. That's... I should take that guy out and we can uh -huh. get some of our ammo back uh, in return. Now let's go ahead and go back to where we were so, other, so we can actually grab the secret. Back to where we were, we will need to go actually drop, uh, drop back and head back the long way. We actually do need to pull this, we actually do need to pull that switch. Just in case this fails. Let's go ahead and save here. Nope. That's also a f that's also a fail. We should actually we should actually <clears throat> not go into this recklessly. And there is a couple of boxes of shotgun shells you can miss if you're not careful. Just gotta ju <coughs> jump, jump back. Hold this back a couple of times. Here we 
good. Uh -huh. Two boxes of shotgun shells, so uh, we get four extra shots for that. That brings us up to 43. Should be able to now I believe we should be able to now get back to <clears throat> that area with the pistons so we can now so we even be able to flip that switch Can't push that any further. Oh, why did I do that? We might be able to to get back up there, possibly, but no guarantees. Yeah, the pulses here really can be annoying. Unfortunately, I do apologize. Looks like we're not going to be able to get back up that way. Under, I know there's the, that's actually an underwater switch that is going to and that will actually allow us to open the door that that we have over here and I believe the switch in that switch that we have to get to over in that engine room area is actually where we need to go Okay, so I was a bit of a dumbass, and after we ended up pulling that sw switch that we had, we actually do have to climb back up. So we actually do have to climb back up here, and we have to go back to the piston room that way. Actually, not supposed to the pull, uh, the push that block uh, back out of the way. Sorry, I am so sorry about that. So 
now we actually go so now we actually run back through here and to the and to, uh, back to the piston room there we go let's go ahead and save here so we don't have just in case if we have another one of those moments again. And no, we have not missed any secrets yet. But now this is where we're going to go ahead and jump across and pull the switch. That will actually now flood the area where we need to go back, uh, go back to. There we go. And so we do, in order to uh, prevent any fall damage, let's go ahead and jump across. Uh, that was that was a, that was a little bit too close, but I did not want to, I didn't want to actually uh, I was attending to actually land on that platform. We're going the wrong way too. Sorry, it really is. Sorry, my uh, mind is not is not in its best state since um <laughs> since I had the, a really bad start to 2023. And we'll, and after the uh, upload of this video, I'm going to res I'm going to resume the recordings on Monday and do what I can do what I can do from here until the until we actually complete the game. Anyway, now we can finally now we can finally um, flip the switch, which will. Open the door. And I do believe a diver will come out. And I don't really have any harpoons to really deal with them. Now we can actually go ahead and save here, and I just gotta do. I just gotta do something real quick, um, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back after a little. After a little bit. Actually, I'm going to actually um, cu uh, cut it one uh, one more time and reload something until we get back to this location because apparently the um, the timer was actually still going at the time when I was away. So I'll be right back. There, much better. Okay, sorry about sorry about that. That was actually a little bit more lengthy than I would I was I wanted to. So, and to Suzanne the Raider, if you are watching this video, I remember uh, hearing uh, f uh, in your video in your video when you did this level about the January blues, and I actually totally understand where you are actually coming from. As for me, being uh, being, being here in the United States, um, in in the month of January, I seem to be really feeling the uh, the the strong effects of that uh, right now. One of the things that is pretty well known is that January is also known as the National Breakup Month here, and that's where most of the people are coupled around here. At least to the best of my knowledge, that's when the forces and relationships, uh, and the uh, more times than anybody, any part of the year, and hopefully, and 
hopefully I don't I, I don't get to experience that too much with my partner, but <sighs> unfortunately you never you never know. But 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 anyway, we ended up dropping that one guy, and it looks like we gotta come over here. We're gonna have to find a way to proceed up there. Ah, uh, yeah, this this infamous puzzle. I remember. These are actually these are actually time. So the timer on it is fair. So the idea is that we do need to ch make that long jump shimmy across that before all this ba uh, collapses back. We're just gonna shimmy all the way up here. <sighs> I have a feeling this is also timed as well. Uh, yep, it's right. It's right down there. So we do gotta, we do gotta actually. Um, oh, I'm on. Oh, now I'm getting it. I swear, I don't know why that <laughs> that little that little uh, spazzing actually happens. But anyway, we'll actually go ahead and save the game here. And there's also where we drop that shotgun guy. Just gotta be not so reckless about about going through here, Crimson. So that will allow that sh now will now allow us to actually shimmy to the left here. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Now let's let's see from here. Looks like we are back in the area where we ended up coming from. <coughs> and I swear the camera angles in this game definitely are not the best. You want to know a game with some good, uh, with some good uh, camera angles? It definitely check out Super Mario 64. There's a bug with a wrench that that's going to beat us. And it's too close quarters to be using those normal pistols. So go ahead and take the guy out. Just double check. And uh, no, he. D that guy does not, unfortunately, does not drop anything. I believe this is what the, what they mean by the living quarters. Okay, the second secret is over there, but I do believe we have to go through this, to an area where we, where, where the, a seal, where we have like a ceiling, col uh, like a little collapse of the,
Yeah, a little ceiling collapse that will allow, allow us to be able to <laughs> access the area, and then we can climb out. Ah, yes, it's actually, it's actually right here. So that actually collapses. Carefully walk <laughs> and taking a small amount of damage because that's unavoidable. That is, we now have the, the second secret of this level. Third secret conveniently is located out in the water. And sliding across here is where we get ourselves a, a little barracuda. Now there is another barracuda that is going to come out to greet us in, in, a, in a little bit. There, he, there it is. Quickly take that out. Come on, Laura. That thing's dead. It ain't gonna hurt you. And here is the last secret uh, of this level. And it gives us four pairs of M16 clips. to 160 more shots to our M16 that we have, and now let's go ahead and continue pressing on forward. Fortunately, we cannot, we won't be able to head out that way. Luckily that was, <laughs> luckily that wasn't spikes. <sighs> okay, so let's see here. This shit, though. <laughs> and now from here, we go ahead and actually shimmy to the right so we can actually climb up to this ledge. So a shotgun guy will will greet you, you here. I believe I just heard another another dude with a wrench. <laughs> I 
And there is going to be another guy with a shotgun around the corner. So let's actually just do an English test here. There is a... I do hear one more guy with a wrench over here. Where is that guy? All right, then in this exact in this area we need to we need to flood this uh, little pool here because that's actually the exit. This is just to... <sighs> put a uh, pit back over here so we can actually get back to where we were. So let's go ahead and push this back. This just leads to the uh, back to this area. I know there's a um, I know there's a theater that we actually do have to access. Oh yeah. Uh, This is the theater key. Now I just gotta find find out where. I seriously keep hearing. I seriously do keep hearing. Oh sh. This does get stressful. One moment, one moment, please. <sighs> All right, so turns out that a block that we ended up, uh, that we ended up, um, <clears throat> moving, we ended up moving it the wrong way. Theater is actually be on the other side of this block. <clears throat> we have to pull this out in order to access that area.
and there'll be a button to flood that little pool. Let's clear the air, air first. Right, that guy did not drop anything. That was the guy that we were looking at earlier. All right. guys don't drop anything either so let's just move forward there is a guy with a shotgun uh, the shotgun over there so we actually try to take him out with the m16 while we're at a safe range and this is actually what the m16 is actually really good at uh, once you move closer, you do not want to use the M16. Oh, I actually, I actually dropped them with the M16. Uh -huh. Anyway, let, let's go ahead and. The switch. Oops. <laughs> There's going to be, should be another enemy coming up. Ooh. Actually, actually, no. Where's the little button? <laughs> There's the button. That fills up the pool, so we can, and that's actually the level exit. Now down there is just a, are just some spikes, so do not step on them. We can just head back to the end of the level, and the ne and next time, after and after this, we will be going to the the actual deck where we'll be finally on the hunt for the actual Seraph itself. guy out. Uh -huh. That's where he has to stop and shoot every time. No, I don't think there's any... doesn't look like there's anybody else. Oops, should be good. Now we just climb out of here and exit the level. And that's the 11 cores. Took longer. Shouldn't it? Definitely took longer than I would have liked to have had. Oh well. It is, it is what it is at this point. So I'm gonna. So this is the uh, the last one of the. <clears throat> and two, uh, of the uh, series that we're gonna be having for this particular week. And I'm gonna start back up again next week when. 
I end up uh, blasting through the January blues like Suzanne the Raider had uh, had mentioned in her video before. So I and again I totally get what she ended up me meaning by that. So thank you for for uh, watching this uh, this level and the next level of level ten. We're going to be going to the deck where we're finally going to be able to get through the last of this of this particular area where I don't really like so much. And then the following level after that will be, well, in my opinion, my favorite level in the entire game, which is when we finally get to the Tibbert and Foothills. So again, thank you so very much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Crimson Thunder. See you later, everybody.